In this video, we have uh, just a kind of fun little way to start geometry off and things that you're going to hear me talk about a lot of don't trust your eyes. Uh, just because what you see looks good doesn't mean that it is always going to be true. So my first little example here, I want you just to count the number of black dots. I should say, if you can count the number of black dots. Uh, in this one, I want you to just take a look at the two inner circles and the two diagrams and try to figure out which one's bigger. And when you actually look at this, you'll notice that the circle on the left is approximately what, 3 eighths inches long, according to my ruler. And this one is approximately 3 eighths. So they're actually equal in, in size, even though they look like they're different. Uh, this one's kind of fun. You may just want to pause this, uh, pause the video, and just stare at the little black dot in the center, and then watch the gray haze disappear. It doesn't actually disappear. On this one, it asks the question, are the horizontal lines parallel or do they slope? Um, I'm guessing when you look at this, it looks like they're kind of curving. Uh, but if I take this blue segment here and just raise it up, you'll notice that the blue segment always touches every single one of those gray segments. Therefore, they're all actually parallel when it doesn't appear that they are. This one, again, you may want to just pause the video and then look at the black dot in the center and then move your face closer and farther away from the screen and you can watch what happens. This one's kind of neat how the artist created uh, the picture of this elephant. Wanting to know how many legs does it have? It's kind of hard to tell. This looks like a leg, but there's no foot at the bottom, which would kind of say that it must not be a leg. Um, same kind of thing is happening here and here. And then you look here, it looks like there's a foot, but I would be willing to bet that that's not going up into anything, so who knows if it's a leg or not. So because of the way that the artist drew this picture, it's really hard to tell how many legs that elephant actually has. Another one, push pause. Um, in this one, try to say the color. Don't say the word. It's a little harder than what you think it is. Um, big moral of the story is don't trust your eyes, and I'm going to go over that a lot over the course of geometry. Um, so put that in your heads right now, and never use that as an excuse or a reason that it looks that way, because... I will become upset.